happen? Is that even dead? This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. It's too well anchored. Alright. That's a fucking loud snore. Oh, fucking fantastic. Oh, no. Ooh, ick. Shoot! And... Yeah, okay. Get away from me, guys. What do we got here? It's an ugly pile of bones. Like me. I guess I could always use a spare. Soup's on! Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. What the fuck? Alright, let's try that again. There's already a bone in there. Okay. Well, what do I do with the bone in my hand, then? I like to save bones for special occasions. Let's just reap that freaking web. Fuck yeah. Wait, what? Oh, that's why the bone's there. Attack as an anchor. Oh, four spiders. No more demon hard to eat. That was a quick puzzle. Alright, onward. I'm assuming that was a perfect shot right into Gladys's stomach. Nope. Nope. Just missed. It's still beating. Put it right in them. Shove that right where the sun don't shine. Heart! Heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart! Heart is good! Strong, beating good heart! Hey, is that my car? <laughs> Paid attention, Spent. Mr. Lamans, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Whoa. Oh, the sprouting. Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Sweet. Here we go. Wait. Is that, am I still in game? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to drive this car. Or just choose where it goes. No, not yet. Okay, never mind. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a maze, isn't it? God damn it. Hey, wait a second. Alright, this is not happening, isn't it? Son of a bitch, alright, let's go back. Gotta be something to do with that sign. How about if we go this way instead? Manny, this is a low riding street rod, not a 4x4. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Let's 
go to the right. Ooh, well, here we are. This is definitely something. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like part of this uh, remastering was a little bit lazy. When I see the, the baked-on shadows on this tree, and it's not really referencing anything. <laughs> It turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but oh, if we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights, that'll shake her down for sure. I'm glad he's doing the work for me. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Uh oh. Sorry, buddy. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. <laughs> Outside of the entertainment value. Sorry, buddy. It was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Oh. I just straight up lied to my buddy. All right. Can I grab one of these? Oh. Oh, I see. One of these lot um things. No. Okay. Let's try that one. Only one of them is not working so far. Of the four pistons, each little hey, line here. Well, you had that off. Let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something specific. Manny, you promise! <laughs> Poor guy. Doesn't deserve this. Um, let's see if I can move it while he's on it, like that. It's moving more. Wait, oh, he didn't go on it at all. I'll look for this one. I wonder if like they move us like a different length depending on which one it's on. Like there's one more rockier than the others. He's starting to have fun. <laughs> oh, you just take it off, I guess. that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in! Or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> now we can go through here. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Are we blocked off again? Nice I couldn't comics. take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. 
There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. <laughs> if you want me to turn the sound I can, I don't know how loud it is for you guys. Oh, that was easy. Manny! What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! <laughs> They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. Oh. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Out of the way! What do you mean out of the way? Alright, so I need something to do there. It's gonna be an automatic scene every time? No. Hmm, tar. Weird. It seems to say I can do something there. Huh, I wonder if any of these uh, skulls are Easter eggs. Yeah, I think one of the skulls from Freakin' Monkey Island might be in this. Oh, now I can look at it? I don't know. This river seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. I forgot my tar needle. Hmm. I don't have any of the bones, eh? I didn't keep any of that. That's kind of interesting that I got the fire extinguisher with me still. Oh, I do have a bone. That, well, that was a waste. That, that, that was not at all what I wanted to do with that bone. You piece of shit. I can't look at the thing anymore though, it's kind of weird. Wait, why the hell would I need the- f What if I never picked up the fire extinguisher? That beaver is moving close to the edge. Is there something about this beaver that I need to know? Oh, he's jumping! Meh? I gotta get the bone in there first and then do that. Do I have any extra bones by any chance? No? How about I just pull a rib out? Will that work? Fuck, where am I gonna get another bone then? Yeah, so I gotta have that spraying out when the fucking thing comes in. Can I do it here? By any chance? I wonder if this thing is rated for rodents. Yeah, they can. Sweet. Sweet. Nothing way across. Oh, they got the flames back. And they're coming for me. No? Maybe? Yes? I'm good? I'm just gonna keep it going. I know the sound is very annoying. No, they keep coming back. That's the problem. Run for your lives, you buck tooth glow balls! Yeah, it does absolutely nothing yet. Because I have to get them to stay. Uh-oh. Hmm. I need more bones. Just, I don't get the point of that. If I throw the bone in the thing, then I have the flame out. The extinguisher out, and it jumps into the tar. He's just going to get flamed back up again. That's not on fire. Hmm. So I need to kill Come him, on, I Mattis. think. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. Mm, no way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. Alright, so we're back here at least. 
Is there anything here? No, we're done here. As far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Nope, it's not changing the view. There's nothing else to get around here. I can do that still though. Whatever the hell this is. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. There's no door on this trailer. I think it's just a big generator. Alright. Assume I'm done with this section. There's only one place where I saw I can get bones, but even then, like... I don't think that's enough. Just to have a bone, toss it in the tar, and have a thing spring. Unless they need to be on fire before they go in the tar. Maybe. Maybe that's why. We can't fit down there. If you want to go back to that no good town, you can go without me. Fine. Oh, pull that out. Um. I have the sign in my hand. I don't really want to do that. Not, not here. That's no way to treat the bone wagon. Okay. So I can't put it away, this thing. Let's just go this way. Plant it in the middle of here and see what it says. I thought I would need the car for this, though. I have no idea what direction it's facing right now. Well, it's pointing somewhere. I'm gonna assume it's pointing this way. Son of a bitch. I thought that might have worked. Well, it's pointing somewhere. God damn it. Mm, use it. Put it down. I'm just looking this way, but nothing happens. No, I doubt it's like that. Unless I really need the car to do this first. Curious. I'm very curious. So let's get back in the car. Don't know where to get another bone, though. Like, I can't go back to that place where Otto lost his heart. Not that I'm aware of. Actually, yeah, I ain't exit. driving back to town, Manny. Let me try walking this direction. No, he won't go. Come on, what if I just run to the edge of the screen? No. Hmm. No, he won't go. Oh, there we go. What the hell? That was weird. Like a little hidden path now. Alright, let's pick up some more bones, I guess. How many bones can we pick up? That's the question. Oh yeah. I guess five is gonna be the max. So we don't have to come back. There's gotta be another button to put the bone away, other than, well, there's that. Let's see how many bones you'll pick up. I don't need yep. any more. I'm practically made of them. Yeah, that's why I said the first time, but you didn't want to use your rib. Alright, so I got five bones. I wonder what the whole point of that thing is with the sign. Go 
you want to go back to that no good town, you can go without me. Put this thing down. Nope. I mean that. Well, I did come from the same way though. No, now I don't come from the same way. Weird. I don't get it. Must not be important yet. I mean, it'd be cool if I could just put the sign on top of the car. I don't think I tried that. Alright, so bone in the tar and get the extinguisher out. Let's see if we can wipe them out one by one. Again. I hope three is enough. That like these are the exact three that we see in the other scene. Good thing this is infinite. These two. One more. boys any comments no comments also no more little dudes that's it that is it sweet Did he go back? Okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't oh, drive another problem. through that. We have to find the key. Ejole. What do you mean, find the key? Why is this popping up now? Son of a bitch. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. Hmm. <laughs> Skeleton key? No place for a bone there. I'm sure if you jam it in enough, it'll take the form of it. Alright, so let's see if we can go across ourselves. That road leads oh, out of wait. the forest, I'm here. sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could oh. I leave without Gladys? There's something in here. Cool. Oh, and there's something here, too. These monsters have made a dam out of human bones. Okay. Oh, I could have just picked the bones up from here. You bitch. I like to save bones for special occasions. No place for a bone there. Son of a bitch, I gotta just pick them up here. Uh, okay, so that's just bones then. I went all that other way just to get fucking bones in another spot. Alright, so... Where the fuck would the key be? Okay, sometimes he doesn't go to automatically to the spot that I'm telling him to go to. It's just, it's just not responding. Oh, I guess it's just another way of telling me that I'm done there. I don't need to go back. Well, that's good. At least 
I won't have to fiddle with something that I don't need to bother with. Not waste time there. Alright, so there's nothing I can do in this scene at all. Good to know. So it's gotta be that last thing with the with the signpost. Look out! Where the game doesn't even give a clue to where the key would be. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. Yeah, who put it there? I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. Hmm. Any keys under the rock type of situation? I'm thinking the next project should be wings. No, no, no. Actually, let's go back. Let's see. Rock, rock. Nope, 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 nope. It's just to go off to the next scene. That rock looks suspicious, though. I don't like how that rock is just like right there perfectly. Alright, so there's nothing around here. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, that's fine. So it's gotta be the. Whatchamacallit? I left my tow truck back in my other suit. So. The direction there is that contraption with the power that we broke down. So we can make the hydraulics. Gotta be this. There's no indication of why we've come here for looking for a key. There's no clue to that. Oh! Did I just run over the sign? That's kinda cool. Useless as fuck, but kinda cool. Wait, that sign just went straight back up again. That was creepy. Alright, let's try to see if I can stick it to this. I don't really wanna do that. He ran all the way there just to say I don't want to do that. Not here. That's no way to treat the bone wagon. That almost seems like a thing. Hey Thomas, what do you want? Aww. Cat just came up to me with this little look in his face. How can I help you, Tom? Alright, so maybe I should do it every single time then? So I'm not sure if that's pointing down here or down there. Here or there. Here or there. We'll go here. You know, I'll fucking hit the sign every time. Let's see if it goes up by itself. <laughs> Fuck you, sign. Now we'll go back up until I need the truck, right? Try it again. Let's see if it points anywhere in you. Nope, same fucking direction every time. I'm confused. Mm, another stumped puzzle. Same direction every time. I'm not gonna take it with me this time. Now what sign? That's a new direction. But once again, it's like, is it this one or is it this one? Alright, let's pick up that sign. Since that gave us something different. Maybe you have to take the sign with you. Hey, Tom. You smell the food too, don't you? Is that why you're looking at me? Alright, let's put the sign down. Let's see where it goes now. Ooh. Wait, is that this fog? I gotta start doing this in the middle. Because I'm not. I'm, uh, uh oh. Uh. I can't grab the sign right now. Out of the way! Uh oh. 
I can't grab the sign. Is this a bug? Maybe if I run over it? Just found out snorting cocaine gets you addicted and you become a junkie. But rubbing your lip with it won't do that. You're safe. The things I learned from the show. Kinda true. I mean, none of it's good. Neither choice is good. Please, please don't learn anything from that show. They're such horrible people. Nummies are safe. Yeah, how about just not do coke period? <laughs> That's even safer. That's for dentists. It's gonna appear in the middle? No! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna leave and hope that sign isn't, um. I hope that sign isn't bugged. It got me though. Became a lot darker too. Yep, it gets darker. I think the darkest thing is doesn't come until like the latest seasons. The show kind of loses appeal in the more recent seasons. Like it's gone on too long type of thing. But they're still trying. And there are a couple episodes. Like when you get there, I'll let we'll talk about it. One of the darkest episodes for me. Or at least what the biggest low that D ever has in the whole show. How do you like the Polson the freaking what's their name? The brothers. The Olsen brothers? Polson brothers? Those two weird dudes that are brothers. Okay, I'm hoping that I didn't fuck that up. That's not bugged, that sign. I'm hoping that's gonna reset to the middle. It's not gonna reset to the middle. Did I fuck up by putting the sign over there? I never saved this game, not once. Son of a bitch. I never saved. Fuck. Fuck. Wah. I can't get to that sign. Oh my god, I gotta look this up to see if I bugged out the sign. Hmm, it seemed to have autofilled that myself. That's not good. <laughs> it autofilled. They were so kind to provide me a functioning save game in less than two days. I have to email support to get a save file? This is a thing. Well... Well, the things people are complaining that the signpost is missing. Mine, I know where my signpost is, I just can't grab it. Oh my. The only solution right now is to fucking email support to get a fucking save file. Are you kidding me? And they called this a fucking remaster? They really did nothing to fucking, uh... Like, really help this game out. What the hell? I can't get the signpost, it's bugged, that's it. That's There goes my game. Like, I'm gonna load my game and hopefully, like, the game <sighs> repositions that fucking 
signpost for me. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Because I put down the sign where I needed to exit. It'd be nice if there was a- wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There's a way to do this. We're not fucking out of the woods yet. I mean, just because the mouse says I can't grab it, doesn't mean the keyboard- I could probably do it with the keyboard. I'm gonna do it with the keyboard here. Fuck yeah. Do it with the goddamn keyboard. Stick it in the grave, Perun. Ah oh, yes. I'm not a man who gives up easily, Perun. You've seen my Dark Souls playthroughs. I was about to play Neo though. If I, this did actually bug out on me. Because that's the next game I'm going to be playing is Neo. I'm starting to think this never ends. Yeah, I think it's starting to fucking just do the same thing now. I'm confused. Definitely sending me to the same places I've already been to. Come on, game, don't do this to me. Give me some. No? This is not like the Lost Woods and Zelda at all. It's the same spot again. No? What the fuck? Like the game gave me no clue to how this is supposed to work, so I'm just like taking a guess at it. I love how we look this direction. I thought this game was gonna make me do this like five to ten times before ha something happens. Wow. Maybe I'm supposed to put something on it. Eh? That's a kind of a new direction. I'm gonna stick it again once I get here. Just to be clear. Wait, what? What? It told me to go this way. Is it different? Depending on where I place it? Huh. Weird. Now it's saying to go back this way. I just had to stick it in a specific spot. It had nothing to do with where I walked. Honestly. Obscure as fuck. Well, there's the key. Now what's the problem? That's the question. It's not gonna be that easy. I already hear something to the left. It 
looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Thank you. Can't pass up an old creepy key. No, we can't. No, we can't. Okay, so there's different ways to go. There's one other way to go. Why would I want to go this way if I have the key? Oh, what? Duff. What? Wait, what? <laughs> How did I end up back here? This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. Easy. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I would want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Woohoo! Not stumped yet. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> Look at him thrust it, Prune. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the pacing in this game, uh, Carmen, is very different than the pacing of old adventure games. The pacing in this game, like how I go from one spot to the next and I have to just like figure out the puzzle before I can continue to the next area, that's something a lot of adventure games do now, but before this, the way the adventure games worked, you pretty much had access to everywhere. You get one big map, you can go wherever the hell you want, and you have to constantly go back and forth. You have to go from town to town, different areas, maybe you'd unlock a new area, but then you'd go back. And like, so they reused a lot of assets. Whereas this one, I'm constantly going to a new area, so it's like you solve the puzzle, hey, you got a new area. That's not how the old ones worked at all. The old ones were a little bit different than that when it came to the pacing. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna take a little break, I mean. I took a lot of mind power right there to get here. Oh, poor guy. No one wants to work here. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this is the guy right at the beginning of the game. The first customer you see me deal with. I give him a walking stick. This is where he got a job. Awesome. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Cool. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, Elso. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Mm. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. <laughs> Poor Sap. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Like, if they're all skeletons, wouldn't they all look the fucking same? How, the, how would I know one person from the next? Other than the clothes they might be wearing. 
So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. <laughs> you can tell we're dead. There's no reflection. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. All right. Let's save this. And I'm gonna go take a little break. There we go. Everything's back, and I got some food. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of Pardon? women. Nothing else to do here. Hey. How do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Really thick french fries with beefs. Normal little fried beefs. Beefs. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you what beefs. I don't know. Well spiced beefs. That's it. I'm a huge hot sauce person. As I was explaining to Chad earlier, I think my stomach's been pretty fucked because of coffee and hot sauce. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Let's do it again. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicavi ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. <laughs> Is he talking about Gladys's car? Is this shivering? I guess it's bone chilling water. I think I'll water. wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Oh, why did they stop talking? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola! Hey, Manny! Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? Hmm. 
How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? <laughs> but he's not even wearing an eye patch. Oh, he is. Can I just ask, Can't see it from this angle. what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, <laughs> I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. <laughs> the eye socket used to scream like a banshee? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> We're about to going in and out again. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well,. Like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. Poor Gladys. <clears throat> All right, so can I do it now? No. I think I'll wait for the fog to clear right. before I try exploring town again. Um. Gotta go back inside the house again, I guess. Yeah. I'm not a huge beer person. Room. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Okay. Nowhere else I can go, eh? I just talk to the guy again? Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There is hey, only Manny. room for one. <laughs> hey, Dr. Shilpate. How are you? How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. Anything but dark chocolate, Prune. I'm not a big dark chocolate fan unless it blends well with whatever it's with. I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. The glove compartment on the bone wagon is full of tiny ketchup and mustard packets. Not to mention soy sauce. I really don't need any more. I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like that. I guess. Whole hazelnuts? As in the actual nut and not in chocolate form? <clears throat> hazelnuts, I believe, is what Intel is made from, no? And in that case, hazelnut chocolate, I fucking love. Of course, they put hmm. shitloads of sugar in it. Maybe I should place a personal hand. I tried it, believe me. It, hmm. Maybe I should place a personal hand. There's gotta be a garage or something I can go I into. I could sleep out. Our customers may all be dead, Manny, but we still care about hygiene. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Alright. Gotta be somewhere else I can go. Like, how do you get upstairs? Yeah. Any safe spots? Doesn't seem like I can go anywhere else down here, but let me see if the keyboard finds anything I can't find. Nope. Alright, nothing here, nothing here. Alright, let's go back out. Try again. See like hot sauce, hot sauce and barbecue sauce, like really thick. Uh, well, I think I'll wait for the is hard to find a good one. I try exploring town again. Like the closest to barbecue sauce that I love is there's a brand called Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels has their own barbecue sauce, and that's probably the closest to a flavor that I love most. Hot sauce, yeah, I like hot sauce, all kinds of hot sauce. So I like trying new different types of hot sauce. I know there are shitty tasting hot sauces out there, but there are also some good hot sauces. 
Gladys, you gotta hide that car. I like it more for the minute, flavor Manny, than the I'm heat. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time. I'm no good with names. Alright. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Interesting. So you can walk. That's the way back to the forest. The spiders. The city. My old job. Let's hope I never have to take that road again. Alright. Seems like I can... Like, sometimes the mouse is not showing me uh, where else I can go, so I have to like, kind of walk off the edge of the screen to find it. Let's see if I can fall off the edge again. I think no? I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. <laughs> okay, for real? I really wouldn't know. <clears throat> huh? Okay, there's like, not really much going on. There's no way I could be just stumped right here. So maybe I'm supposed to pull something out and show it to people? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's the freaking dude's wife. Okay, I guess the captain would be able to see that. That was such a quick little puzzle. It's like there's only two elements here for me to interact with. Uh huh. I didn't know I actually had the picture of her. I didn't see the exchange of hands, but okay, cool. That's pretty easy. Hey, captain, you see this woman? Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She <laughs> sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Oh, poor guy. He's gonna hate to hear that. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation <laughs> here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Oh, poor guy. I guess I gotta break the sad news to the dude now. And then the game's gonna go on tonight, probably. Manny! Please! Oh, this is the best. Wait, oh! <laughs> I didn't even see him give me the book either, what the hell? I do not see these people exchanging things. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. Took a bunk with a hunk. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. That's it? It's all in there. Oh, oh Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mob <laughs> at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Compass in the handle. Interesting. I never showed you guys. One year later. Holy fuck. Give me a second, I'll show you again. Just be surprised. Look at that. I am the man of the club. Fuck yeah. This is getting close to where I was stumped. Hey boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Mm -mm. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba.
whole new game, people. It's a whole new fucking game. One year later. That chick's long gone. Like, one year later? What the hell? Let's talk to this girl. She's fun. No, he does not want to talk to her at all. Look at Manny Go. He is now a pianist. Master mechanic, Evening, master Lupe. pianist. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. You gotta love this girl's voice. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey! We should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? <laughs> okay, tell me the details about your new coat check system. Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? What? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny! You're not even listening to me! I go to all this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it! Don't pretend to care! No, I want to hear. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Woohoo! Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. <laughs> Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Nothing. You're supposed to tell me to get over it. Hey, I don't want you to give up on Mercedes. Just have more realistic expectations, that's all. Realistic expectations? It's been a fucking year. Woman's long gone. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Nothing. Get over it, Knucklehead. <laughs> Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Okay. Back to work. Okay! Mm -hmm. Just a plain beef. I wouldn't know what side of the cow it's from. <laughs> Smooth. Hola! Manny? Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! <laughs> How about you tell me about last night? Sounds great. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that song doesn't get me DMCA. Sing a oh little God. bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. Bone wagon. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Mechie. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. <laughs> Why the name of the singer is supposed to be imitating? Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. Probably drink some. Well, maybe just a sip. Fuck yeah. Ah. Uh, keep going. I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. 
Keep going. I don't think I could okay. swallow any more metal right now. Uh. Oh, shit. How about now, since you burped? Well, maybe just a sip. Yep. Hm, I wonder if that's a thing. <sighs> oh, boy. There's a lot of people to talk to now. I don't really want to do that. Not while they're losing. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night, so. <laughs> Monsieur Lucky, not while they're that? losing. How about this guy? You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when, when you're on the street. Yeah. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Le Cinq Rouge. You know. Some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. I want you to take a step. Five. I don't really want to do that. Right. Right. A lot of people talking in this room. What the fuck? How about this? Mind if I sit down? Suspicious looking bastard. Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? I don't trust this guy already. Reminds me of the dude from Twin Peaks in that red room. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. What are you doing in my club, Charlie? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stops. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. <laughs> what a sleazeball. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. I like how the painting in the background is a Grim Reaper with cards. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it one to pay. pay. One second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. <laughs> That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. <laughs> it's making it sound like I disappointed him. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. <laughs> Nothing. Anything. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture. Fifty bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <laughs> when I think of something I need, I'll come back. Interesting. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Well, I've got a club to run, so... But that's about... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. So I got some weird device on me now. Not that. Not that. 
that. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Mm. All right. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. Alright, let's check out the rest of the town. What a guy. Calavera Cafe. How the hell did that even happen? Kim doesn't explain anything. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! What? Manny, no! You're crazy! Wait, what? Yeah, if that's a sign the woman wants nothing to do with you, I don't know what is. That was interesting. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ho <laughs> ho! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If Port the limbo's shoot. my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Hold up. Say some more. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, hmm? Nothing. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it, but he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Gladys some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. In terms of versatility, I guess, Sparoon? Um... Yeah, I mean... I guess, based on more just because of the amount of different. I mean, it's the same thing, whether you're breading it or not, it's chicken in the end. But yeah, I guess because of versatility. Otherwise, I don't know. I love hot dogs. I like. Hmm. Can't talk about fucking hot dogs without having, some having a fucking dirty mind. Yeah, so I like sausages, Italian sausages. Probably some of my favorite. Like, street. Like, a uh, hot dog vendor on the street. They do it the best. That's probably my favorite. No, not footlongs, Carmen. This isn't fucking America. This is in US. <sighs> we just do hot dogs and sausages. We don't have footlongs. You make your own at home? Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's, well, I mean, I wouldn't send it over freaking mail, but like, the Portuguese make their own sausages called chutis. 
And it's not really a sausage like a hot dog sausage that you can put in a bun and eat. It has different uses for it. But our native sausage would be shooties. Really good. Shooties crumble on a pizza, so fucking good. Um, shooties slices in a soup called called Verde. One of my favorite soups ever. Steaks, I love a good fucking steak. It's not about being native alone, it's about the quality. It ain't store bought, it's homemade, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like we make our own shooties as well. My mom will still get her friends together and um, they'll buy the meat and everything, do the spices themselves. They'll have a big bin full of uh, full of it and put it into the whatever the intestines is that they use, sheep intestines or something. <clears throat> I've made it myself too. It's a nice little process. It's a nice little getting together process. Who's the one guy that hasn't boarded yet? Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. I'm gonna take a spot. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? <laughs> Gladys is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve but you to the, the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. Oh. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. Damn. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. All right. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. All right. So I gotta get tools and I gotta get Naranja's uh, card. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. I'd better go finish packing. This I, captain really hates you me. You do that, son. What the fuck? Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. Hey, let me see that. Don't bring it over your head if you reach for it again. Hey, let me see that. Don't bring it over your head if you reach for it again. Not a bad little ship in a bottle you got Not going a man there. Of a word. Yeah, well, Is there's that, that Rubicava craft fair next week, and also. All right, so that's what I got to do. I gotta find some tools and I gotta find this dude. Where are the CBs? Oh god. What is all this? There's a lot of places to check out now. There's gonna be a little bit of There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Oh, there's another casino across the way. There's that over there. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to get used to the map. Ah, this is where Larania would be, no? It's likely his home. I keep calling him a spider in Portuguese. I don't think that was his actual name. <laughs> 